Now this cacophony is football champ by Domark, a conversion apparently of a 1991 Tato game, so we'll see if he's just cap all the way through. There we go. Ah bollocks, I didn't get my reading glasses. the hell does that mean anyway? I don't know who I'm controlling, you know that? Am I even controlling anyone? It's not obvious. The, the joystick could be in the wrong port and I wouldn't know. That's always a bad sign for a game. So hang on, is that me? How can I foul when I'm not, well I'm moving the joystick so someone's moving somewhere. Right, okay, so that is me. The graphics are rubbish. They've got all the disadvantages of sensible soccer and none of the advantages. Not that those so-called advantages, you know, outweigh the shit graphics of sensible soccer. Luckily, the AI of the uh, opponent things. Oh, look, you can you can catch up to him, but only just about. Hey, man, I'm sure that was a foul. When you hold the ball, I should. Uh, wait, what? What? What the hell? I'm sure that's offside or some shit like that. I'm not even doing anything. I'm influencing the ball without pressing fire to kick. What's going on with that? Come on, mate. Look, he was closer. So it's the same old idiotic fucking, uh, you know, character selection. That's a bloody lighter. She's no time for a cigarette, mad Commodoreo. Doesn't matter how much you hold the fucking fire button down. It doesn't do it any... Hey, I'm Vinnie Jones, piss off. Yeah, whatever, mate. Why did you put me all the way over there for? Oh, you fucking asshole. Might as well get it on their side. Get it on their side! But not Mad Commodore, because that wasn't my name. It never has been, actually. <laughs> well, that is the name of a character from an older type. What? What's going on with these controls? What do you expect tech software, mate? Sounds like some fucking boutique owner decided to make computer games. Knob! Stick to your rubbish fucking uh, lotions, you wanker. He, he was right in front of the ball. By the time it selects the right character for you, which you cannot select yourself, this is inferior to real sports soccer in every way except graphics on uh, the VCS. Absolutely inferior, mate. I turn. Hey! How come they always win the uh, fucking tackle? Where's this shit? So he's also got arcade difficulty with none of the plus points of World Championship Soccer by Sega. Yeah, Tato and nothing compared to Sega, mate. Nothing! Well, fucking give me control of someone to fucking defend. It's a fucking rubbish conversion. I don't know if the original arcade is this shit, but uh, 1991, you won't be playing uh, ISS, mate, on a 16 bit console. Hey! What the fuck is going on with this uh, player selection ball? He seems to be tackling them by itself using the same shit AI routines. 
So fire doesn't actually, well it does make you tackle, but something weird is going on with the tackling. On top of the weird selection of which character you control. Look, clearly... Alright, it's enough of this shit. Battery electrons are rare as fucking rocking horse shit. Coated with uh, powdered hen's teeth, I might add. Would be nice if you could actually like do a search on game base to find, you know, developers like, you know, Bootech and uh, Anal Probe, you know, those uh, idiots. Tear Techs, Tear Dicks. I can't think of a good one for Tear Techs, but. They did uh, Street Fighter on the Amiga and it was worse than the ST version. <laughs> the ST version actually has parallax clouds and they're pretty smooth actually. The rest of the scrolling isn't. But only because they wasted all the CPU time. God knows what they were doing at Tier Tech. And the, uh, the owners of the uh, software houses, they couldn't give a shit how bad these games were. So I've got no respect for them. None at all, mate. Okay, this is a bit of a problem now. Because I uh, can't find the old... Uh, here it is, for fuck's sake. What other shit companies can we look up? Anko. Well, Kickoff wasn't that bad. Uh, isn't Slapshot some sort of ice hockey game? Ah, well, that got fucked up. Right, maybe if I quit here. I didn't do did, is that. Like, is this going to work now? Or is the actual D64 corrupted? Anything's possible on this channel. Except uh, fair and uh, adequate promotion by YouTube algorithm. That's the only thing that isn't possible on this channel. That's really weird. I, I have never ever seen that. Oh look, burning rubber. Don't like that. We're playing slap shot. Golf is probably shit. Boat race. It's um, probably rhyming slang for Templeton Peck. I believe his name is in the 18. I don't know if I could watch the A-Team. Although, yeah, there is a lot of on-location and outdoor shoots, so I might give it a go. But I'm more likely to try and watch an episode of Airwolf, like the uh, last episode of Season 1 with uh, Lance Legault, or is it De Gaulle? R.I.P. I remember reading someone famous died from Covid uh, about a month ago, two months ago. Can't remember who it is though. But you would class him as, uh, you know, an actor. Not like the millennial cocksuckers clogging up Netflix and Amazon. Original productions. Oh, shit. Oh fucking hell, I thought it was loaded. Oh what a bastard. Still, we got the old uh, cigarette out of the way. Well the thing is, the uh, SD to IC light didn't come on. Well, I just flashed their green once. For like half a second. And it didn't work anyway. Great! Gonna have to uh, re-download that one. Is it cold enough for the projector? Well, with a fan on full blast, it's actually not too bad in here at the moment, which is a bit of a miracle. 
I always sleep in the daytime when I expect it to be hot. Uh, because it means I sleep through uh, when the house is too hot. Hmm. And the later you leave it, the room I sleep in gets hot. So any other room in the house will be cooler than the one I've... Yeah, anyway. Behind the scenes with Mad Commodore and his weird life. Addictive games were anything but. Oh, I think we've done. Uh, we ain't done Metaplex. I don't. I don't seem to remember saying anything called uh, Metaplex. I don't even know what that means. Meta psychology of Lex Luthor. I don't know if I could watch any of the original Superman films either. Superman 4 is uh, an interesting one to watch because he's meant to be really shit. Yeah, don't laugh, I was watching uh, Philip K. Dick's Electric Dreams, so, you know, there's a lot of bollocks episodes in that. First one is really cheap, it's like, it's all shot on set, I don't like that one. I was looking for the one with the uh, animal-human hybrids. I think I found the one with Steve Buscemi. I saw the one with... Uh, What was his first name? Monroe in uh, Revolution. What was his first name now? Miles Matheson was uh, the good guy. And I uh, can't remember the name. Anyway. Something happening. My score saver. No, thank you. Unlimited laser. No, no. Acid. No, definitely not. What's S like? Shit laser, shit shields. Oh, thermos flask. As long as it's uh, got loads of ice in it and some nice drink. Without fucking sweetener. So, uh, anyway. Okay, I'll probably need the uh, Kirk glasses for this. This is Garth. You must destroy Fort. This is one of the uh, power units which must be destroyed. To destroy a unit, you must get an empty flask and take it to the acid room and fill it up. These are really good instructions. Go to a power unit and drop the full flask off flying over the unit. With all four units destroyed, you can come here and shoot Garth. Then find this room and go through... I'm not going to remember all this. I'm in a shit mood. There's a refill point. How do I refill my late? I presume I have to avoid them and go on a bit with the uh, green LEDs. A shield replenished. What? Sensor unit. Land on top and press fire to open and close doors and activate or deactivate the wizards. What? You know what? Yeah, bloody hell. Could have had a white background so I could see the one key. Alright, that's the one key. Wow, he's fast. Zippy. There's no sound on this game. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, they were asleep before. 
So it's like claustrophobic uh, robot Oh, he can't shoot up and down with his jetpack. Come on, mate. I don't know what's going on there. I, I can't fucking... There's something stuck to me. How do I get rid of this gun? Didn't tell me that on the instructor. There's something going on there. Class 2, spare craft line, get new craft. How do I do them things on the side? So All right. I'm trying to read what those keys are. Shift run stop. Oh, I didn't seem to be doing nothing. You know what, I'm stuck on this game, because now I can't even fire. I don't know what this is. All of a sudden there's gravity now, there wasn't before. This is possibly not a bad game. Though. That's not me firing, don't worry about that. Mate. Okay, so we're in the locked door there. Okay, and there's this floor down there. Hang on. All right. I'd really have to, like, have the instructions right next to me. It's no good having the instructions on the internet, even if they exist right now. Now, uh, whatever is wrong with my craft is still wrong with it. Or soon. Did we go in here? I can't go in there. I can't fire at anything. This looks familiar. I don't know why those things are changing on the bottom when I press fire. Give my lasers back, you bastard. What do we pick up there? What is this room? Carrying nothing. Right, we've got spare craft now. Do you have to go and collect the spare craft? Oh, that's a bit rubbish. I don't like that. Can I get through there? No. Okay. We're just in there. What happens if I go over that then? No, nothing. So I'm kind of stuck already. I don't know what that did, but I remember in the instructions. So there must be another way. I don't know what them 500 things are. Okay. Maybe uh, when the suit fails, the gravity fails. Now we've been there. We've been here though. Yeah, I think we've been there. Oh no, we're on the other side of this thing. Ooh, that was a bit iffy. Ah, them little starfish bosses are uh, quite... Yeah. How am I supposed to get in there to get them? Oh no. We've run out of ding-dongs or whatever they are. I don't know why those things are animated, you can't do anything with them. Yeah, you really need the instructions for this game now. So, it's probably not a bad game actually. I'm surprised. I've never heard of this game. I'm going to look up a review on that. And if it's, uh, you know, for this sort of era, 
I'm guessing this is like 87 or before. Ah, you'll find a good review in that. Yeah, don't, don't worry with the uh, Gordon and uh, Katie years. You fucking forget those. So yeah, we have, we have worked out some of this place, but we haven't found the flask. So there, there must be a thing going on here because I mean, having to get, having to find your like next life to make the game playable. That's a bit rubbish. And there might be a cracked version, however, that solves that problem. Well, nothing's going on there. Oh yeah, I can't shoot. Been there. We've been there. Mm. No. I mean, I don't think that's a good idea, you know, compromising your, uh, you know, your weapons. Yeah, this is one of those games you would need to map out as well. So, because of that, I can't really enjoy it. Because that's not the kind of game I'll play, even when it's not dark outside. Oh, I think it's starting to get hot again. Must be getting late. Oh, only quarter past nine. We're fucked. The camera's running out of charge. Uh, I could play C64, I guess. I won't record it. What if I remember something important when I'm playing one of these games I've already played before? Because if you think I play shit like this when the camera's not on, I would have to really know a game is good. And that means, on top of that, it'd have to be a game that I had. Uh, that's the only reason. It's like, yeah. I mean, I can't even think of a shit game on other formats, but you wouldn't think, oh, fancy a guy chase HQ and then fucking load it up on the C64. And Cauldron of Stardust, why haven't you watched that review? That's infamous, that game. Bloody uh, Oscar nomination, uh, if not Oscar winning performance. On that review, that was a review, they are all technical negative points. Creative X, I think. Yeah, see, so I played all of these. Yeah, now there is a game like Wing Commander on the C64. It's called Sky Fox 2 and the bloody idiot crackers. None of them have uh, removed the fucking protected loading routines. Arseholes. And it doesn't work on the C64 full size either. So you can only play it on emulators, the cracks that are out. No, unless by some miracle you've got like uh, blank discs in mint condition. Yeah, but right, let's. Uh let's see what other things Microdeal done, except Microdeal not here. Press the S key for salt. That is the fucking uh, S key. No, that's the shift lock key. I f forget about the shift lock key. I f f f forget about the f fire lighters. Where the hell is micro deal? Well, that's a reason to put the projector on. I have to do micro deal software. Uh, what other games do Parker Brothers do? Hmm.
it should be quite a small game and therefore quick to load because the uh, I don't know how long the uh, warning on the uh, you know, L camera LCD for the battery power has been flashing that usually only goes for about 10 minutes why are none of you sleeping none of my cats are sleeping importantly none of the cats seem to want to sleep today that don't like each other and have to be apart which means they don't like being even in the same room as me, huh? Ah, it's cool in this room, you idiot. Oh, right, I just pressed the F1, right. Uh, in this structural vehicle. Oh, no, I know, animated vehicle is called off ski to right, okay. There you go. Quick, quick. F1, start a new game. Diamonds are forever. Until they're going to black hole, mate. Boo boo boo! Is it joystick pull one? Oh you bastard. We ain't got a battery time for that. Don't be joystick but it probably is joystick pull one. Yeah, I bet it is. like a really shit version of Moon Puppet. Next level, we ain't got the battery life for this shit. I press Commodore key, come on. So your graphics look all right actually. It's just the, you know, the rubbishness of the gameplay. Okay, that was a mine. I couldn't really tell because it was brown. Brown trousers under the water in it. Make them orange for fuck's sake. I guess you missed that particular thing in uh, art school. On the one day that you went there. shoot backwards as well. Uh, what is he doing mate? Okay we better go to another level. I don't know how long the battery's gonna last. Takes a while to switch switch levels. This is a cartridge game. I wonder if what is into it. So it's basically the same shitty game engine for fucking free games with all the problems inherited with the uh, so-called uh, other movies being uh, computer gamified just like Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and the uh, SNES they're all shit for the same reason because they're the same fucking game and it's the platforming section the ridiculously awkward and annoying and difficult fucking uh, platform levels on those free games. Star Wars is shit before the GameCube mate. Possibly uh, Shadows of the Empire. I haven't played that on the N64. Hey what happened there? You cocksucker. Come on mate, we ain't got a battery life for this shit. Alright, okay, skip skippity doo dah here mate. Off. Next. I wanna see how many uh, rubbish uh, so called movie licenses we've got inside this one shitty cartridge. I'd never buy this game. Alright, let's see what the next film is. I would have thought Moonraker. Oh right, so they're not doing it in chronological order. Oh fucking hell, it's a scrolling version of Atlantis with all the uh, shit removed. Why is the water grey? I, oh, I did hit him. 
I'm wondering how many bloody films are in this license package. Jack of no trades, a master of none in this case. Good show, Mr. Bond. So it's only them four, was it? There you go, long play this shit while the uh, battery's been moaning about the uh, lack of electron flow. Right, why does the car change? Uh... You know what? It's still a shit day.